Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Ken, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the Seven Step System to Pass the TOEFL IBT. First of all, I want to give you a very big congratulations on your last TOEFL scores. You got 89. You have 21 points reading, 22 points listening, and 26 on the speaking. Many students, they dream, Ken, of getting that score, but you did it. And then your writing score is 20. So, you say, I'm planning to take my last TOEFL exam in January. I really want a score of a 100 or more. Uh, so, you need to make, I think, some improvements in the writing. You need to make uh, some improvements in the reading and the listening area. You say, ever since the last attempt, I've been studying vocabulary and working on some practice questions. However, I never had the chance to get feedback on my writing because I could not find any tutoring lessons. I'd like to ask you how... Uh, now, when you use this as a noun clause, you need to say it this way. I would like to ask you how I can prepare for my last month before taking the exam. Would you briefly explain how the online course will help my scores go up. Very good, good question. Now, I had a student a year ago, Rasa was his name, and he, when I met him, his writing score was 21, and in two and a half months, he improved his writing score uh, eight points to 29 out of 30. So how did he do it? He just started completing a lot of writing practice tests at my site. I have over 40 independent writing practice tests. I have uh, 43 integrated writing practice tests. And he started taking all those practice tests over and over and over. And over a period of two and a half months, because he had, did so, he had done so much practice with writing, he actually improved his uh, So <clears throat> there's a couple of things that you can do that I think will have an impact on your TOEFL score. First of all, let's talk about how you can kill two birds with one stone. Based on your TOEFL score, you'd like to improve the reading and the listening at least three or four points in those areas, and then you want to bring up your writing score. Am I right? Okay, so in the listening part of my course, can I have 40 listening practice tests. I also have different lessons that help you to improve your listening comprehension abilities. So my recommendation is for you to start going through those listening practice tests. Uh, and also the same thing for the reading. Now, my reading practice tests are not TOEFL level. It sounds like you probably have some books that you can use for that, but the reading practice tests on my website will help you to improve your reading speed to at least 300 words per minute, which is very important for the TOEFL exam. So what I recommend for you is, as you do the reading and the listening practice, make sure you're taking notes. Of course, you can use your notes to answer the reading and the listening comprehension questions. But remember with the reading, what you're trying to do here, Ken, is to read the passage in only one minute, and then you want to score 60 to 80 percent on the comprehension quiz without looking at the reading passage again. So you're gradually trying to increase your reading speed from 100 to at least 300 words per minute. So that's how you can do that. Now, in addition to using the notes to answer the uh, reading and the listening practice questions, I also recommend that you practice writing about this information. My recommendation for you right now is to write five, oral, five written summaries each week focusing on some of the reading and the listening passages that you're practicing. Each of your summaries should be about 250 words. So you're not just doing reading and listening practice, but you're focusing on your notes and your note taking, and then you're writing summaries on that information, which is very good, as you know, for integrated writing. So that's probably one of the best things you can do is to start doing that. Now, secondly, you can start going through my independent and integrated writing lessons, and then as soon as you're ready, you can start sending me writing practice tests to grade. Now, for the price of $45 a month, 
I will give you some basic feedback on the writing. I will tell you what your score is and why briefly. However, I will not grammatically correct all the errors in your writing. Kind of like what I was doing here. I was correcting some of the word order in the email that you sent. I will not make those kind of corrections on your essays, at least not for $45 a month. Now, some students, if you're interested, there is an, a, an additional option that you might consider. Some students want me to error correct one of their independent and integrated writing practice tests. And what I do is I take what they wrote, I give them a score, and I rewrite it. I show them what they have to do in order to get a perfect score 5.0 out of 5 or 30 points out of 30. So if you want me to error correct one of your independent writing practice tests, or you want me to error correct an integrated writing practice test, I can do that, but for the error correction, you have to make an additional payment of $50 and that will error correct one of your essays. If you pay another 50, I'll error correct another one. Now remember is I do a video. I actually do a video showing you all the corrections I made and why I made them. So if you're interested in doing that, you could do this. If you go to PayPal, if you make a payment of $145, I will automatically subscribe you into my online TOEFL course and you can use my course any way you want and then I will also error correct one of your independent and one of your integrated writing practice tests all for that low price of $145. Right? And you can send me for the rest of the month you can send me at no additional cost you can send me writing practice tests on a daily basis and I will give you some scores on those as well. You see how it works? So that's how I can help you improve your scores in the listening, in the reading, also in the writing area. Now just to be safe, you might want to send me maybe two or three speaking practice tests each week and I will, I will also give you some feedback on those because even though you're speaking, it's already pretty high, you still want to maintain that that speaking fluency. Alright Ken, so those are my comments for you on helping to improve your writing. So anyway, all the best to your high scoring writing success.